make sure to subscribe and like this video because I'm a cute little small coffee bean. Hi guys, it's Sunday and I have assignments that I do this week and I kind of, I've had other things that I had to focus on this whole week like studying for other midterms and other stuff and I have a presentation due and an essay due with it that's due Wednesday and I got the presentation down I just haven't really started the essay um so that's what I'm doing today I have my water I have my coffee it's not it's not full it's like it's like right here it's like right there coffee bean for a reason but um I have to do my essay so I figured well, why not kind of make a video because I kind of have been kind of want to stick to the thing of doing it every day and the music I'm listening to right now is from Spotify to Spotify playlist it's called chill lo-fi um, study beats and it's a um, playlist created by Spotify and it's pretty dope I love it and I also listen to this and I also listen to um, lo-fi sleep sounds and lush lo-fi those are the kind of playlists I kind of listen to when I'm trying to study or trying to focus and trying to get in the mindset of focusing. Um, I'm not gonna have it too loud because of my ear. Okay, look, I have Bluetooth. He I have headphones that I use for music, but I want. I'm working on my laptop and I kind of wanted the music to play as I'm doing it, like I usually do. I was gonna just listen to it on my phone, listen to Spotify on my phone instead of my computer. But I figured, well, why not do it that way? Um, I have three hours before I need to finish this essay, at least the rough draft, so I can start studying for my um, test tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I've studied a little bit this whole week, but it's just like I really need to kind of get everything 100% done or like look through and kind of have an idea, you know, so I need to do that by, I, I, I kind of set my alarm for by four o'clock. So like I need to finish my um, essay by four or at least finish it up a little bit, do the rough draft or at least have a bit of it done before four so I can study for maybe two hours. So six, six p.m. I start working on my essay and just kind of take little small breaks because why not? Because I can't, <laughs> I can't work on this essay all day and not do any type of studying. So my teacher, um posted a kind of a a not exactly an exam a layout but it's kind of more like a sample paper it is written by her so I'm gonna use that to try to guide me because she didn't really give 100% like outline guidance of what she wants in this essay it's it, the the presentation in the essay is typically mostly the same thing it's just the presentation is kind of like um just short and sweet and the essay kind of wants you to get more in depth so I need to read her essay first to kind of know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. There's the sun, the, my, um, what's it called? My window is up over there because I'm ha trying to get some heat in this room because it's kind of cold in here. I love being cold, but sometimes it's kind of distracting. And I have on my tank top that I wore to sleep and my hair looks kind of rough because I haven't fluffed it out. And I need my glasses, but eh, I don't know where they are. They could be in my car. I don't know. And if they're in the car, they're totally something. But anyway, I need to read her essay thing first. I'm going to turn the music up a little higher because I can't really hear it. Oh. I can't even... Okay. I want to talk about my method of studying. I like doing, st like, rereading my textbooks. And then kind of this information that I need, I type it up on my computer so I can see it and read over it. Um, sometimes I make flashcards. I used to do that in high school, make flashcards. That didn't really work for me. It kind of, I guess it kind of depends on the genre that I'm working with. But this is film, so she has also, she has tons of PowerPoints. All of my teachers have tons of PowerPoints online, so those are really great. And also just some tips, like... If you have a class, like any class, like you can always ask your teacher, like, hey, do you put the PowerPoints online or is there any way you can give me the PowerPoints, the uh, the presentations you use? You know, a lot of teachers are willing to conform, willing to, com willing to um, 
do things if you ask for it. But most of my teachers, they just automatically put their PowerPoints and stuff online anyway because most of my classes are like half, half, um, like lecture, half like, well, it's all lecture, but I mean like it has a lot of stuff online to help you study and stuff. So, yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Hmm. I can't read this though. I, uh. I'm trying to, how I'm gonna try and do this. I'm not gonna copy anything, of course not. I just wanna kind of get her layout in my head so I know what I'm supposed to do. Because me, it's, okay, so what we're supposed to do, we pick our favorite film, or just a film in general, and we talk about the marketing, the budgets, um, different stuff like that, and promotions and stuff like that. And I picked Insidious, The Last Key, because I love the Insidious franchise, like the series. I've watched every movie. Even if I didn't like a certain movie, I'll watch them all. Um, I would recommend you guys to watch them. They're not as scary as you think they are. They're really not. But of course, when you're really young and the first movie comes out, Insidious, just Insidious chapter one, it's just Insidious. It was pretty scary, it's pretty weird, but I love every movie. My favorite, I don't know. I think Last Key was pretty good. Um, I, I like, when I tell you that I watched every movie like literally the year it came out so I don't really remember everything by 100% detail but I remember enough so yeah. I think the third movie was weird that had a whole like the first two movies are kind of mostly surrounding surrounding um the Lambert Lambert family and then Annalise the um medium or the psychic or the um ghost whisperer type of person. But then the third movie, it's about this whole different family, and it's still about Elise because it has, I mean, she's literally the main character. Elise, Tucker, and Speck are the main characters. So it was kind of weird seeing a different family for um, chapter three. Um, it was just kind of weird. But of course, in every movie, even the movie where they're, they're not talking about the Lambert family, the Lambert family appears somehow. Like in um, The Last Key, the ending was kind of not, it wasn't, was it the ending or was it kind of like the middle ending? I don't know. It's kind of strange because they went kind of back in, back in time a little bit and showed the Lambert family. And I was kind of like, what, <laughs> what was the point of them bringing them back in? I don't know. Anyway, blah. Um, I'm just trying to get her what she's, I, oh God. Because me, if I was doing this essay, I would literally spend 10,000 pages talking about the whole plot. And I can't do that because if I do that, then I'm going to get a zero. <laughs> Always take water breaks. <laughs> I use these. I used to have to use straws when I drink something cold because my teeth are little baby teeth, and they're extremely sensitive. Even though I use since my toothpaste, I mean sometimes they're okay, but I just don't like the chance it because I'm paranoid. Anyway. We're doing okay. I literally have one sentence. <sighs> There's hope for me. Please pray for me. By the time you guys watch this video, I will have been, I will probably have been finished by then. That's not how you say that sentence. I'm sorry, but I don't feel like trying to fix it. This is a great opportunity for you guys. If you guys have an essay that you need to get finished or get done, 
come write it with me. Sit down in a comfy chair, get out your laptop or your computer, sit at your desk, I don't know, and open up Microsoft Word and let's get writing. Make sure you have water near you. You can even get some coffee, I don't know, whatever you want to drink. You can get some juice. You can get some, I don't know, anything. Get your, get your computer out, your laptop out, sit it down near some light so you can see. I have my window open, my light is off up there, it's off because I want the natural light to just promote positivity. Alright, since we got that, everybody got their laptop out, everybody has their computers open, we got Microsoft Word open or Google Docs or I don't know what else kind of writing platform there is, but you got it open on your laptop or your computer, desktop, whatever, your tablet, let's get writing, okay? Here's some music for you. Okay. I don't know if you like this music, but I like it, so we're gonna listen to it. Let's get right in. Make sure to do some stretches first. You, and make sure you get, have your posture right. Sometimes when I'm on a computer, I tend to slouch. That's not good. Okay, it's not good. So, get your posture straight. Sit up straight, sit up tall. Push up, loosen up your shoulders, pop your knuckles if you got to. I tend to do this all the time, especially when I'm driving. My mom hates it. Uh -huh. Make sure you keep your back straight. Stretch your arms if you need to. Ow. Hurt. Stretch them up. Alright. <clears throat> now that you're all stretched, let's get right. Okay. It's always good to keep your flush drive on your car keys because you'll never lose them. Unless you lose the car keys. We must take a little break for you guys, for me to spread you guys some positivity. Here's your positivity flower. May it bring you happiness, positivity, and confidence. I'm on my, I'm on like my third. I'm very much not finished with my essay, but I'm gonna stop the little video there if you guys like the music. Um, 
I'm halfway finished. <laughs> I'm definitely not finished. I have to have at least two or three pages. And I have maybe like two and a half or kind of like, anyway, that doesn't, that's not important. But I hope you guys like this little video. Um, I hope you guys have good luck on your studying and your essays if you have anything to do. Make sure to not procrastinate like me. Try to have your days more organized. I need to get back into my bullet journaling to help me kind of figure things out. And I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys have good luck on your week. It's Sunday for me. When I post this, it's probably going to be Monday. So I hope you guys have a great Monday. And I hope you guys had a great weekend. And I hope you guys have success during the week. And I will see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe and like this video because I'm a cute little small coffee bean. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Bye. And I got really cold, so I had to put on a I wish it was autumn already. It's like 92 degrees outside. Who does that? But here's your positivity flower. This is double the positivity. Bye guys.